Welcome back to my channel, Digital Wellness. Thank you so much for your overwhelming response uh, to my last episode, um, the recuperating the yoga way. Uh, firstly, thanks for all your wishes. I'm almost back to normal. Uh, just waiting a day or day before uh, I am out of the self isolation, and um, um, I'm extremely glad that. Uh, uh, I got a lot of responses um, on, on, on this particular episode and a few of you also wrote to me and Dr. Sunita Acharya ji in terms of what are the breathing exercises that one needs to follow. So today we will be taking you through some of the mudras guided by Dr. Sunita Acharya ji and uh, how it is important to do some of these uh, mudras especially during uh, these times of COVID and in case you have symptoms which Dr. Smita would be uh, taking us through, uh, you can follow these mudras along with abdominal breathing. Um, you, you must do it at least five minutes along with that relevant mudras. It really helped me a lot and I hope um, you know, there will be a big takeaway for a few of you too. Let us get started now. Oh. 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 is made up of Panchabhutas or Panchatattvas. Our body also made up of these Panchabhutas. And our hand, our fingers represents these Panchabhutas. Thumb represents the fire element, Agni Tattva. And the pointing finger that represents the air element, that is Vayu. And the middle finger represents the space element that is Akasha and then the ring finger represents the Prithvi, the earth element and the small finger represents Varuna that is the water. I repeat fire, air, space, earth and water. These are the five elements the whole universe is made up of and also our body is made up of. If there is a balance in these five elements, that shows as comfort inside the body. Balance that five elements, we have few mudras. Especially in this situation, these mudras are very helpful for the people. With that intention, I'm going to explain these mudras. Start with chin mudra. For us to keep chin mudra, we have to join the tip of the thumb with tip of the pointing finger that is called chin mudra okay tip of the pointing finger joined with tip of the thumb other three fingers are together and away you have to keep it on your knees this mudra will help you to breathe better and improve the circulation Maximum utilizing the lung capacity and also help you to supply the oxygen throughout the body. This is called Chin Mudra. Now in this Chin Mudra, we do five rounds of deep abdominal breathings. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale. exhale. 
breathe normally next we move on to prana mudra the name itself says it is the mudra for energy it is also called shakti mudra the prana mudra we have to join the small finger and ring finger to the tip of the thumb other two fingers are away tip of the ring finger and small finger join to the tip of the thumb that is called prana mudra other two fingers are away and together place it on your lap on your knees inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe normally. Next, we move on to the Brahmara Mudra. Brahmara Mudra is the b mudra b gesture for that you have to keep the pointing finger tip of the pointing finger to the base of the thumb and join the tip of your thumb and the middle finger and other two fingers are away yes place it on your knee yes shoulders relaxed bhramar mudra when we keep bhramar mudra this help you to get rid of allergies and also initial stages of cold and the itchy sensation irritation in the nostrils you can get rid of it when you keep this bhamara mudra now we breathe in bhamara mudra inhale exhale inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. next mudra we are going to learn is bronkal mudra or it is called shwasanala mudra this is bhamar mudra what we are doing now is you have to fold the ring finger and small finger to the middle of the palm middle of the palm middle of and now straighten the pointing finger this is called shwasanala mudra or bronchial mudra when person has congestion in the chest not able to breathe comfortably this mudra will help to breathe comfortably we breathe in this mudra keep in this mudra inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale
Inhale. Exhale. Breathe normally. Next mudra we are going to learn is called Apanavai Mudra or Hriday Mudra. For that, again, four stretch your hands, fingers, yes. Now, tip of the pointing finger reaching the base of the thumb, base of the thumb, and the middle finger and ring finger touching the tip of your thumb. Tip of the middle finger and ring finger touching the tip of the thumb. This is called Hriday Mudra or Apanavayu Mudra. We all know Hridaya is heart. Heart, the function of the heart is to pump the blood through which the supply of oxygen reaches throughout the body. When we keep this Hriday Mudra, we are allowing the heart to pump the oxygen, rich supply of oxygen throughout the body. We breathe deep abdominal breathings in the Hridayam Mudra. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Normally, last mudra that we are going to learn is Shankha mudra or the conch. For that, show your hands. Now hold your left thumb with right forefingers and join the right thumb with the left fingers. Yes, that is Shankha. Turn this side and show. Very good. Now keep it on your lap and now we do the breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue to breathe normally. The Shankh Mudra, good for cough any irritation in the throat, sore throat, any condition in the throat or pain in the throat, this mudra will help. In this COVID situation, especially the discomfort is starting with nostrils and the throat. So all these mudras will help you to breathe better. With that, we conclude the session. Shanti 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 Ayo, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your overwhelming response. And uh, uh, these mudras guided by Dr. Smita Acharya Ji really helped me during 
the time, the first three days, I was tested uh, COVID positive. Especially the Hrudaya Mudra, I practiced Hrudaya Mudra. And also, uh, when I woke up in the morning, I would at least spend five minutes with the Prana Mudra. The Prana Mudra energizes us and in fact, I felt a lot of energy. At that point in time, I was not able to do all the exercises uh, that I uh, shared with you in the last episode. However, as guided by Dr. Sunita, I just would do this for five minutes and I felt a lot of energy flowing in me. Hope you all liked this uh, episode. Please share and also share your comments in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions uh, you have. Thank you so much for watching Digital Wellness. Hari Om. Uh, one last thing. Um, in case you are practicing the uh, Kapalbhati or the um, uh, alternate nostril breathing which we discussed in the last episode, please use the Chin Mudra only. And it is suggested that you use Chin Mudra while you practice some of these breathing exercises. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more.